Okay, to put your body back into your golf swing, we're going to adapt a more athletic setup. We're going to have an athletic stance. We're going to free our arms to move through the golf ball. So basically what we're doing, we're put our feet about shoulder width apart, going to turn our toes out just a little bit, flex our knees, bend from the waist so that our arms hang free from our shoulders. So what that looks like from the side. Flex knees, bent from the waist, arms hanging freely. This will allow us to move through the golf ball. Now I know a lot of us didn't age as well as others, may have some physical attributes that don't allow you to make this kind of a stance and setup. But let's give it a try. See how much of it you can do. Okay, from there, as we grip the club with the grip of your choice, and we'll talk about grips here in just a minute, we formed a triangle with our arms, our hand, and our shoulder. And that triangle, the golden triangle, we try to maintain for as long as possible. As we move the ball away, the club head away from the ball, and as we make impact with the ball, and then on through. That 18 inches behind the ball and through the ball is very important that that triangle maintain its credibility. All right, now that we've got our body back into our swing, I'm going to give you the tip of the day. You know, Ben Hogan wasn't a big guy at all, but he modified his swing to optimize the equipment of the day. And so he had a little bit of a sway, but he had great coordination, he had great hands. Well, one of the things Ben did to get him a little more distance was that address on his driver, he pulled that right foot back just a little bit. Now what that did was, it started his hip movement back away from the ball. It cleared this right hip early. Well, we don't do a lot of that today, but what it also does is going to give you a little bit longer swing and a little more power when you hit that driver. So try that. Just take that right foot, pull it back a little bit. Play that ball, that driver, just inside your left toe. Okay? And take a swing at it. Now here's the real tip. That modified baseball grip I was telling you about, give that a try with this stance on your drives. Just use that modified baseball grip. Try it out on the driving range a couple of times. I think you're going to find that you're going to hit the ball further and straighter with that grip. Then, once you got that down, if you want to hook it, just rotate that left hand a little bit. That'll close the club face up a little bit at impact. Give it a try, better get you 20 more yards off your tee shot.